Hello there, this is Jimmy the Fontmeister, and today I'd like to talk about some bitmap fonts. Uh, the first thing that I'd like to make clear is when I talk about a bitmap font, I'm talking about a screen font, which means that there's a font that display, displays on the screen, and there's a font that goes to the printer. And so if you want to make that happen, this is the video for you. But I wanted to make clear that we're not talking about bitmap images such as JPEGs, GIFs, or TIFFs. Now, I want to point this out because a lot of our users will go to File and Import, and they see bitmaps here, and they don't realize that's kind of uh, font geek terminology for a bitmap screen font. They think that that's a JPEG or uh, some other bitmapped Photoshop image. So unfortunately the two terms are very close to each other, but today we are talking about bitmap screen fonts. In any case, you can go to our video on font formats to get the details on different types of bitmap fonts and how to edit them. What I'm going to do today is give you a jump start and make you aware of how to generate and use bitmap fonts. Now, what we're going to do is start with a font that doesn't have any bitmaps. I go up here to the window menu and try to open the bitmap window and lo and behold it doesn't have any so I create some. Now if you had a particular size that you wanted to appear on the screen maybe a, maybe a size you're having trouble with then you would type that in here. Say a lot of people have a font that looks good at 12 points, but it doesn't look good at 10. So they, they sometimes might come in here and say, I'm going to make a 10 point bitmap, see if I can do a better job with that. And you'll notice here that 10 points means 10 pixels here when you're in the bitmap world. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there's one for the descender for 10 point. So uh, when you're in, in the bitmap world, each pixel uh, relates to your point size. Now, isn't this a beautiful bitmap? Somebody might say that they could uh, draw a better bitmap than Fontarfer. They might want to come in here and experiment with it. And maybe they can. And so then that will be what you see at 10 points when the font is installed. More on that later. So people who edit bitmaps, they're doing so because they are trying to make their font look as good as possible at a particular point size. The idea is that when they create a bitmap at this size and then they generate the font including the bitmap, then the operating system will use this bitmap when the end user selects a particular point size such as 10 point. So then the bitmap would be viewed rather than the outline. You see the outline back behind here. So do you understand the bitmap is now taking the place of the outline? In my humble opinion, the results are usually not very spectacular and should only be done if the user is creating something like a pixel font. But there might be a few people in the world who can actually draw bitmaps better than photographer can, so this is why we allow them to do so. So you edit your bitmap. And then on the PC Fontographer, you come to File, Export, and as you can see, the only bitmap format that we export on PC Fontographer is a BDF. Now, BDF stands for Bitmap Distribution Format, and these are fonts that are normally used in the Linux operating system and also for certain devices such as cell phones. A BDF file is actually a hexadecimal representation of a bitmap font. It is possible to embed a BDF font inside of a true type font. If you want to do this, the first step would be to go to the photographer page at fontlab.com, read the tech note on the Microsoft S-Bit utility. That's S as in Sam, S-Bit utility. It's a free utility. There's a lot of details in that tech note there, and it's a very touchy operation, but it actually can be done, and it works fine. And so uh, if you did that, you would embed this BDF inside of a TrueType font, 
and when a person selected 10 points, they'd see that BDF. Now, for those of you who are looking for FON files or FOND files and other type of bitmap font formats, you're going to have to get a copy of our BitFonter product. Okay, so once we've edited the bitmaps, the final step is to go to the File Export menu, select BDF, and you'll see the only choice you have here is BDF. And you'd create yourself a BDF file and you'd either embed it in your font or we hope that you know what you're going to do with it. Now, if you're on a Macintosh, you can still include bitmap screen fonts inside of a suitcase. On the Macintosh, uh, when you go to uh, generate the font, after you've created some bitmaps, you just go to the font generate dialog and you would choose type 1 or true type suitcase and you would have your bitmaps embedded in your font. Well, that's about all I can tell you about the state of the art of bitmap fonts and photographer for now. You can check out your user manual for more details and also we'd like to know if you can think of some other topics you'd like to see covered in the photographer tutorial series.